Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark. In this video, we're going to show you how you can protect your Learn course files and downloads. And what I mean by that is you may have a course with specific downloadable resources in there. And what we want to do is prevent people who haven't bought or been given access to your courses from being able to download those. So firstly, I will show you what the problem is. So if I head to a course that I've created and add in, say, a PDF file uh, as a download, I'm just going to edit this course here. So I'm going to drop down here and um, add in a file, for example. And I'm just going to choose a PDF file from my desktop here. And this will just upload here. And I'm just going to um, hide the inline embed here and update it. Let's view that course. And we have a download link that allows the person to just download that file here to their computer. But the problem with this is that what WordPress does is store these downloads in the media folder, which means that they're not actually protected in any way. So if I right click on this and copy the link to this file and then log out of my platform and look at it as if I was a new person just completely coming to this site new and not having bought any courses or being given any access to any courses, I can click on that, I can put in that link and still access this download, which means that that link could be shared to anyone on the internet and they could click it and get that PDF without having to buy my course. So what we're going to do is add that media in a slightly different way that prevents that from happening. So these files would then be locked down to anyone who has an account on your platform. So I'm just going to log back in quickly here. And what I'm going to do is head to plugins, add new, and then search for one called download manager. So there are a few here, but the popular one is this one here called Download Manager by W3 Eden Inc. And it has 100,000 active installations, very recently updated at the time of recording, and it's got a pretty good review. So I'm just going to install that and activate it. So before I go any further, what I'm going to do is delete that download that I had previously on this page, because what we're going to do is replace it with something slightly different that's a bit more protected. So I'm just going to uh, remove this file and update the page, and our page is back to how we had it before. So let's head back to the dashboard. And once you've installed that plugin, what you'll find is that you now have this downloads option in the sidebar. And there's a few options here, but we'll just go through the key settings that you would have or you'd need to use to, to create a, a file. So what you do is you create these files. So if you go to all files, you will find that any files that you create are listed here, but we have the option to add new. And we're going to add a new file for the one that we created here. So I'm just going to call this one my protected download. So that's just the name of the, the file as, as we're going to have it here. And on the right hand side here, this is where we can upload that file. So I'm just going to select the, the file here and upload it from my computer and it'll upload here on the right hand side. So we've uploaded our PDF document here. If we scroll down, what it does is it creates this download package which has various settings associated with it. So with that download, we can add things like potentially a version number, uh, a limit or a view count to it if we wanted to, uh, add a, a manual size to it if we wanted. But the key thing here is that we want to choose who is allowed access to 
download it. And at the moment, it's set, it's set to all visitors. But what I'm going to do is choose some roles that are allowed to access it. So say group leader, uh, subscriber, customer, if you use Word, uh, WooCommerce potentially, and administrator. So I've selected four roles there that would be allowed to access this, this file. And then what I'm going to do is just click publish. So what we have now is a protected download. Um, and what we can do is now insert that into pages, which I'll show you how to do shortly. But it will only be available to these people who are logged in um, and uh, you know, subscribers that the, the lowest level of logged in user you would tend to have on a, a WordPress platform. Just quickly, I'll switch to some of these other tabs. Um, so you can add some terms and conditions to the downloads that people have to agree to to download it. Also enable a password if you want to, or capture on, on these downloads. I'm going to leave those disabled, but those are useful features that you might potentially look at. You can also add icons, and the file I added there was a PDF, so I'm just going to choose the PDF icon just to make that look a bit more uh, interesting when they embed that onto a page. So we've created our protected download there now. And what we now can do is embed these into our course content using what are called short codes. And you've probably seen these before, but it's basically a code that you just paste into your course content and it will now show this protected download. So I'm going to head back to the site now and go to all courses and then edit the course that I previously edited to uh, put in that download. I'm just going to you know, drop down a, a one here and then just paste in that short code that I just copied. And it just looks like this, WPDM underscore package. And then each one will have its own ID. We can now click update. And if I now view the course, we have our protected download here and we can see that, you know, it's got one file in it. So I should have mentioned before that downloads could technically have more than one file. We can see how big it is. We've got this icon that we chose there, the PDF icon and the option to download it. And because I'm a, I don't know if you can see that, but that did download and that's because I'm a, an administrator logged in at the moment. But the good thing is we now, we don't, have a way to like copy this link and give it to someone else it protects that download in such a way that say i copied the link and then logged out and then pasted that so if, if i was accessing this without looking at yeah you know, i just wouldn't be able to download this file it just gives me no option to do it so it's a it's now protected and it's not something that people will be able to share with other people. And um, it's just a, a, a much more locked down way of um, managing your files. So it's a great way to, to protect your course content and your assets to make sure that they don't inadvertently get shared with other people. And uh, yeah, definitely a, a nice plugin to have on your platform. So we hope you find this useful. And if you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, Please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.